The world is a scary place. We lock our doors at night, avoid dark alleys, and check under the bed for monsters. But what if the scariest things aren't the ones we can see? What if the true terror lies in cold, hard data? Statistics, those seemingly harmless numbers, can reveal terrifying truths about the world around us. They whisper of unseen dangers and paint a chilling picture of the world we inhabit. This isn't about ghosts or goblins. This is about the chilling reality hidden in plain sight. The statistics we're about to explore will shake you to your core. They reveal the things that should keep you up at night. The fears that gnaw at the edges of your mind. Prepare yourself for what you're about to read will stay with you long after you turn the page. Let's start with a number. One in four. That's the percentage of women who will experience domestic violence in their lifetime. A horrifying statistic made even more unsettling by its ordinariness. It could be your sister, your friend, your neighbor. The threat lurks behind closed doors, invisible to the outside world. Another chilling figure, 3,000. That's how many people die every day in car accidents worldwide. It's a silent epidemic, a constant danger we accept as part of modern life. Each number represents a life cut short, a family shattered. These are just two examples, a glimpse into the abyss of unsettling statistics. Each number tells a story, a tale of tragedy, of fear, and the fragility of human life. We often ignore these numbers, burying our heads in the sand. But we can't hide from the truth. These statistics are a wake-up call, a reminder that danger lurks around every corner. Why do these statistics terrify us so much? It's the randomness, the lack of control. We like to believe we're in control of our destinies, but these numbers remind us that we are not. A wrong place, a wrong time, a twist of fate, that's all it takes. The fear these statistics evoke is primal, visceral. It's the fear of the unknown, the fear of our own mortality. We build walls, physical and mental, to protect ourselves from the harsh realities of the world. But these numbers chip away at our defenses, reminding us that no one is truly safe. This fear can paralyze us, keep us from living our lives to the fullest. But it can also be a catalyst for change. By acknowledging these terrifying truths, we can start to address them we can work to make the world a safer, less frightening place. Section 4. A World Divided The most unsettling aspect of these statistics is their ability to divide. Some people see them as a call to action, a rallying cry for change. Others dismiss them as anomalies outliers that don't reflect the true nature of the world. This division is perhaps the most terrifying aspect of all. It highlights the deep-seated differences in our perceptions of reality. And what one person finds terrifying, another might find comforting. This dissonance makes it difficult to find common ground to work together to address the very real dangers these statistics represent. 
This division is not just an abstract concept. It plays out in our daily lives, in our political discourse, in our relationships with others. It's a constant source of tension, a reminder that we live in a world where even the most basic facts are up for debate. Section 5. The Unsettling Truth. The unsettling truth is that these statistics are just the tip of the iceberg. For every terrifying number, countless others remain hidden, buried in data sets or obscured by our own unwillingness to look too closely. The world is full of unseen dangers, both statistically likely and statistically improbable. The more we learn about the world, the more we realize how little we truly know. This realization can be liberating, but it can also be terrifying. It forces us to confront our own mortality our own insignificance in the grand scheme of things. But even in the face of such vastness, we cannot afford to succumb to fear. We must embrace the unknown, not with reckless abandon, but with cautious curiosity. We must seek knowledge, even when it makes us uncomfortable, even when it terrifies us.